Hey y'all, um, coming after an ugly day and night yesterday. Y'all, please calm down. And there's something that I just, I've thought about it all night. I couldn't sleep. And, um, I cannot, I cannot back a man saying that he's going to knock a female out, especially when I've already called to the attention of this person that their words are pretty disgusting that they direct towards females. And with that being said, I must admit that um, I have been abused and I have been the abuser. And I kind of understand what Glenn's going for, but it's, it's not okay. It wasn't okay for me when I was beaten on my husband. And I'm I can't back that. I appreciate the apology that you gave to the community as a whole, but um, I think there needs to be an apology to the person that was spoke about. That's where the first apology should have come. And um, watch your words. Because uh, I'm sure most people are like me and don't think that a man has any right bragging about what he'll do to a woman if he steps up on her because, honey... You best stay where you at. Now, I'm not saying that's a threat. I'm just saying, us Southern women, we don't take too many slaps without retaliation. Is it right? No. I learned the hard way. You can't beat somebody to be nice. You can't beat somebody to be loyal. You can't beat somebody to love you. And you can't beat somebody into liking people you like in your case. So I think that needs to be dealt with, and I, I'm kind of embarrassed at the amount of people that's just swept it under the rug like it wasn't said, because I had to cut the damn show off when he said it. I did see one person saying they couldn't stand with that, and for the life of me, I can't remember who it was, but I wouldn't call you out anyway, but I appreciate you, because it takes a strong person to stand up in that chat anyway against what's being said, but that was just wrong, and I appreciate you sticking to your morals and admitting that you just can't back that either because I can't neither. I think there needs to be a better discussion than what was done on it. Again, it was just like excused and, and swept under the rug and it shouldn't be. Like I said, this is not the first time I've seen hostile comments against a woman from this person and I don't give a fuck if you mad. Quit doing stupid shit. And I, everybody's going to have to stop with this real life, man. That shit was foul. Everything that's been done is foul. Jessica Lynn's daddy ain't got a damn thing to do with none of y'all. He's not on here. He's not running his mouth to none of y'all. And that shit should have been left out. That shit should have never been brought here. And Dalton should have never come out of another woman's mouth. So y'all both wrong. And y'all need to stop. But I'm sorry. My daddy is gone. And I only had him for seven years. He was an absentee, crackhead, whore chaser. But, mm, mm don't say shit on my fucking daddy. That was wrong. Now, you go at each other, but you leave the fucking families out of it. That's all I hear from every channel. Leave the kids out of it. Leave the significant other ones out of it. But, uh, after yesterday, y'all, dude, mind fucking blown. Y'all all wrong. I can't sit back. I can't sit by. I sit by way too long, and I'm ashamed that I didn't come out with this when it first hit my mind. But, Glenn, please, watch your mouth around women. Because it ain't cool. And it don't make you look big. It makes you look like a wuss. And you never know. Um, you're showing your face all over here, bragging about how you'll deal with a woman. Uh, what if somebody sees you in your hometown and shows you what not? To fucking be saying and doing to women. And again, like I said, honey, we beat the hell out of you around here, so you best stay where the hell you at and don't come this way. Now, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if somebody's mad. I'm sorry if anybody's mad. I really don't care. I'm sorry for you that you're mad. I'm not sorry for me. I don't give a fuck. I'm standing up for what's right, and ain't no man got any right threatening to put his hands on any woman. I don't care if that man's in the community I'm in or not. You're wrong. And you might just run across the wrong woman to beat the brakes off your ass. 
So be careful with that. But coming from, I mean, we ain't never been friends, but coming from a friendly spot, please watch your words. People ain't gonna put up with this shit much longer. I'm calling you out and I'm from your own community. So that's about all I had to say. Everybody calm down. Leave people's daddies, mamas. You damn sure better leave my daddy and mama to fuck up out some shit. But kids, partners, if they're not on this YouTube fucking with you, then what the fuck is their damn name coming out your mouth for? That's petty and that's below the belt. But it ain't as below the belt as damn threatening to knock a woman out because, mm. Glenn, I might have to send you mug shots of the last person, the last man that put his hands on my little niece, my little cousin, and she like weighs 120 pounds. I'm gonna tell you something around here. Your little mug shot, your mug shot circulates not only on Facebook, but on Google around here. So everybody got to see that he was a woman beater. And then everybody got to see that that woman straight beat the brakes off his ass. So be careful, cause you might get hurt and you're hurting other people. I don't see why it's got to be like that. Just be a man. Be a gentleman. Beef with the men. And leave the women beefing with the women. That is totally wrong, boy. And I was raised up against. Like I said, I fight men. I, I fought both my husbands. And I was wrong. I learned. I have not hit my old man in years. Because I learned you can't, you can't beat nothing into them. If they're going to do shitty, they're going to do shitty. And you can't beat it into them. So I kept my hands to myself, and I hope you learn that. But even if you don't do it as freely as it comes out your mouth, it kind of makes us all think that um, it is something that you have no problem with doing. So um, for your future relationships and future career on YouTube, I would kind of watch my mouth when it comes to threatening the ladies. And you might run off, you might just run into some redhead southern girls that'll... <laughs> Make you a laughing stock of the whole damn county because you got the hell beat out of you and your mugshots floating around everywhere and everybody in the whole damn county's laughing at your ass. That's how we roll. But again, I appreciate the group apology for the ones of us that has been abused. It was insensitive. You admitted it, and but I think somebody else is owed an apology, and that's the person you made the comment to. It don't make a fuck if we forgive you. We weren't the ones that was wrong. We was just the ones that was offended by your mouth. Now, this is all you'll hear. Because I'm done with it. Because you're probably going to fuck up again. Like I said, this is the second time I've had to bring it to your attention. That you are a grown-ass fucking man. Lay your mouth off of women. I just can't believe you ain't been taught that. But you might be. So, for your safety, please. Watch your mouth. Everybody quit doxing everybody's whole damn family in existence. And quit being so fucking sensitive, man. Y'all really, I hate to say it, but by y'all reacting is what's getting y'all continuously drugged. I don't give a fuck. Let somebody say something, they say it. I don't care. They're not here. That's what people's going to have to learn. Y'all are getting way too caught up. And I ain't gonna lie, trying to listen to that shit last night, I, my anxiety was so damn high trying to listen to Glenn's explanation and then the fact that it wasn't even, he wasn't even reprimanded, it was just swept under the rug and made excuses for, not right, and I'll be the one to call it. So everybody behave, I might come back and do a tie-dye because I'm bored as hell today and I done cleaned up and shit. I ain't been sleeping good because my cat's been getting on my nerves, I don't know what happened but. They are closed up in here for six days while my stepdaddy was here, and um, now they can't stand each other, and they're just fighting all over the damn place. So, might get some rest, might do a tie-dye, but either or, y'all, calm the fuck down. This is getting way too damn much. Behave.